Hey guys, we're here for a positive video. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. But, uh, this, this, is, this is coming from, like, just a sake to, like, change the nerve, because I know most of you guys have your on enough opinions, but let's do something we all agree in, and just, this is a well-deserved Hall of Fame induction from Rob Van Dam. He's been one of the most influential parts of professional wrestling. And just, you know, just cool. And one of the reasons why he's cool, recognizable moveset. You need a recognizable moveset whenever it comes to pro wrestling. And people, when Rob Van Dam, even though, it, like, we, like, it's, for some people it's repetitive, it'll be like, oh, that's his moves. Like, you can, like, in certain matches when you're facing up against the same opponent or you're facing up against a different type of opponent, yeah. Like, you're expected to change your style up for storyline reasons. But, like, you know, spinning heel kick, the heel kick from, from, the, from the barricade or the guardrail, the shooting star, the, the five-star frog splash, the rolling thunder, the fan terminator. Like, all, all moves that certain indie jobbers do nowadays. All moves over, over three decades... Rob Van Dam has made that one of the most normal parts of everybody's arsenal now. You're seeing guys like Kevin Owens do frog splashes everywhere. Rob Van Dam could do a frog splash on the half of the ring. Now most guys do it. Heel kicks. You're seeing a lot of more guys do kicks over in his arsenal. While like the whole thing with Rob Van Dam's look was uh, uh, low-key martial artist. MM, like, MMA high flyer dude. So you expect him to wear stuff like that. Another thing that makes him awesome, I guess it's just his physical charisma. Like, whenever you look at him, you just expect to be, in, like, enjoy his company. Like, you always like whenever he's on screen. He's always going to come over a big pop, even if the promo is shit. Like, you know what to expect from Rob Van Dam. You like him. Another reason why he's so, you know another reason why he's awesome just I guess we can say like his TV title reign like his ECW TV title reign like we we get unnecessary reigns uh like blame Ring of Honor why they have like long ass unnecessary reigns like why does Samoa Joe has seven hundred days with the world title even though he looks like a meatball sub and of course a Davy Richards. But uh, you look at Rob Van Dam, you can see why he had a fast-paced move set. All of his moves were, like, innovative kicks, and most people that use weapons on ECW could barely adapt to guys like Rob Van Dam. So that's what made, like, it more, like, like one of the most unexpected guys to have long range with the title, because I swear, like, he held it for, like, 700 days, right? Like, near, like, the ending of ECW, he held that belt. Another reason why he's awesome is just the longevity I, and the consistency. You got to give him that. Like, near 30, 30 years in the business, and he still wrestles the same way. He still nearly looks the same. I'm sure you can see him aging, but that's expected. But like, he still does. He still does his regular arsenal. Still moves athletically. Still has the same persona. Like, you you still see Rob Van Dam be Rob Van Dam, even though, like, Katie Forbes, uh, <laughs> uh, there's too much silicone in there for an arsenal. But, uh, you know, he got, a, he got a woman with a big ass. You got to respect that with Rob Van Dam. But he still is in deep condition. There's guys like Charlie Haas that looks like he's friends with Trevor from GTA Five, And that guy's, like, younger than Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is like it pushing fifties, and he's still doing five star frog splashes. You gotta respect the ethic and whatever type of uh, diet Rob Van Dam's on. The only people that is in good looking shape like uh, him that can still go in the ring is technically Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. I guess Sting, technically uh, Terry Funk, if it wasn't for his dementia and. Uh, you know, you just you can barely sound out a lot of veterans that can still go to this day, twenty twenty one. So, yeah.
another reason he he just he he was just finding it cool to be a pothead in pro wrestling. Yeah, like we know like the business has a notorious history with drug with drug problems that affect even legends to this day. And some recoup from it. Rob Van Dam is just chill with it. Like yeah, he got in trouble and it kinda cost and Rob Van Dam kinda costed himself his own main event title push. Because everybody would be like, oh, they, they pushed him back in 20, 2006. If it wasn't for him getting caught with drugs with Sabu, he would have been world chunker a bit longer, especially with his fanfare. The guy had, like, a, a bit, main event, not that much main event credibility to speak of. But when it comes to his charisma and just his fans, like, why not push him with the belt? And he was about to get it, too. That and that's what happened. He's the highlight of every pay per view he's on. I remember from Invasion two thousand one to every Money in the Bank he's been in, every ladder match he's been in, he will be the highlight of every pay per view. You got to respect that. And he's just an overall cool guy. Like, you can't say anything... Like, I barely hear anything negatively spoken about with Rob Van Dam. Other than his... His, uh... His sweet issues... He seems like a standout guy in the business to get along with. You gotta respect that. The guy got Impact nearly banned from Twitch. And still showed up. And now he's a Hall of Famer. Don't know if he's ever going to come back to WWE or Impact Wrestling because we know his relationship there. But, uh, yeah, he's well-deserved to be a Hall of Famer. He's done a lot for the wrestling business. Still consistent to this day, and I hope he does, like, especially with how it is now for, wrest for you know, wrestlers over on the Twilight Deck career and many health issues. I hope Rob really does live a long life just for the sake of, you know, not hearing any more legends dying in their fucking 40s to 50s. That I don't want to hear that. That's 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 insane. I don't want to hear that. But uh yeah, that, that's practically all I want to put over to the video. Rob Van Dam is awesome. And I can put this to effect cuz he's one of my favorite wrestlers when I growing up next to Batista uh John Cena, Rey Mysterio, MVP and Rand and not Randy Orton, I never liked that guy. And Kane. Kane is up there. But, uh, most of what I have for this, just want to put up this for the love of the dude. Uh, don't know why there isn't more Top 10 Awesomes, or at least anything else. These are just reasons. So these are just not organized, but, you know, understandable reasons why you're awesome or you suck. But this was an awesome. Rob and Dam deserves it. And, uh, thanks for watching. That's it for me. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck?